Using renewable energies is in the spotlight these days. Innovators have been discussing its benefits as a futuristic idea. But did you know that Muslims have been harvesting free renewable energy all the way back to the time of the early Muslim caliphs? While it was the Romans who learned to harvest the power of water for mills, it was Persians who learned to harvest the power of wind. The earliest windmills are about 3,000 years old and did not look much like the windmills of today. Instead of force sails gracing the front of a tall building, these windmills, called vertical axis windmills, looked more like a turnstile, with sails turning around the post in the ground. The wind would turn a shaft that would then turn a large slab of stone on top of another large slab of stone. Mill operators would then pour grain into holes in the top slab. The holes would channel the grain into spaces between the two slabs so that it would be ground into floor. Power from wind was a great alternative to water power in dry, arid places. Eventually, windmills could also be used to turn a cog that would pump water from wells into aqueducts that funneled the water into the towns. With the water from windmills, people could produce not only enough drinking water, but water for their gardens and fields as well. Gradually, windmills changed the view of the landscape. In the year 636 AD, the Muslims defeated the Persians in the Battle of Qadisiyah. One of the Persian prisoners of war, Piruz Nahavandi, was known to be an expert blacksmith and carpenter. He served in the home of the governor of Kufa, a major city in Iraq, making various tools and machines for the governor. Upon hearing about Nahavandi's engineering skills, the second caliph, Omar al-Khattab, asked to meet with him and ordered him to build a windmill, which he did. His work caused vertical axis windmills to start popping up all over the Muslim world, bringing strength to the caliphate. Windmills have been considered the backbones of many great civilizations. After the Islamic civilization, the use of windmills spread to India and China. Years later, crusaders learned about windmills from the Muslims and brought them to Europe. In the 15th century, the horizontal axis windmills were such a part of the European landscape, especially in the Netherlands, where they used to irrigate the land to grow their famous tulips. These windmills were also instrumental to the rise of the industrial age of the 1800s. Today, wind power is harvested and stored through the use of the more modern version of a windmill, the wind turbine. And the vertical axis is starting to make a comeback as well. Historians refer to the windmills as among the oldest and most vital machines to civilization. And engineers refer to them as the way of the future.